Well, it was an absolutely tremendous victory for Chelsea Nelson Photography. Kentucky Judge coming through. I'm going to talk all about it, guys. Before we go any further, if you enjoy my daily content I provide for you here on YouTube, I encourage you, help support my ministry on Patreon. You can do so for as little as just $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link in the description. You're going to get access to all my bonus content, talking a lot more about sensitive information. We get around the YouTube sensors there. You get the alerts and notifications for anything that posts to Patreon. Unlike YouTube, you're not going to get all the alerts. So you guys got to check my channel on a regular basis so you don't miss anything. And trust me, you've missed a ton of content so when you get done watching this video, just browse back to see what it is that you've missed. Now, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, let's talk about this Kentucky judge, Justin R. Walker. God bless him, this Kentucky judge. It was the city of Louisville that put out an ordinance that said that all photographers, specifically here in this case that I'm talking about here, Chelsea Nelson, would have to adhere to officiating and promoting same-sex weddings, even if that violated their religious beliefs. They didn't care about that one bit. So they tried to get Chelsea Nelson photography caught up in this. Not only that, to, to force her to have to photograph same-sex weddings, but also she would have to put them up on her blog, on her website. She would have to publish those photos, basically stripping her of her own editorial control over her own website. I, that's absolutely ridiculous. That's just complete government control is what that is. Also, what the ordinance said was that she wouldn't even be allowed on her website or any of her platforms to talk about her faith and why she will not work in a same-sex wedding environment. Now, that would be that would be illegal according to the ordinance. She would not be allowed to do that whatsoever. A lawsuit went into this. Thank God it did. She was being represented by Alliance Defending Freedom. This is an obvious violation of her First Amendment rights uh, as an artist, as a photographer. You can't do this to people. You cannot force them to go ahead uh, and participate in something that is against their religious beliefs, especially it's their own business. So the judge made that ruling here just the other day that said that what Louisville was doing was illegal and it would not stand. In fact, they had halted any punishment that would go out towards Chelsea as this lawsuit was going, uh, and that's great. I'm glad that they put a stop to that because uh, to have her, you know, be possibly facing fines, other punishments for violating this, it could have even led to her losing her business altogether as a Christian photographer. Uh, it would just be absolutely horrible if that were to happen. So praise God that this happened. And I want to point out too, because there it wasn't just this ruling that came out on Friday. And I did another video about this too. If you guys missed it, check it when you get done watching this one. But a judge in California ruled that Pastor John MacArthur's church in Sun Valley, California, Grace Community Church, would be allowed to go ahead and assume, resume really, their in-person services with no attendance caps whatsoever. And yes, they would be able to sing because Governor Gavin Newsom tried to prevent them from doing that as well. So both of these rulings came out on the same day. I just want to point that out. So that is amazing. God is doing some things. Thank God we still have some good judges in place here um, that are willing to actually uphold the Constitution because so many of them are not willing to do that. Getting back to Chelsea Nelson here in the case with her, Alliance Defending Freedom is celebrating this victory. Um, they couldn't be more thrilled with the outcome here. It is the exact outcome that needed to happen. The government wants control of our lives they, over every aspect. They want to get involved in our businesses, force us to do things against our beliefs. And I'm so glad here that Chelsea Nelson will be able to proceed. Uh, she will not be able to be harassed when it comes to her photo, uh, her wedding photos, her blogs, everything like that. Um, so that is a tremendous victory. Again, congratulations out to her. Guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. I'll also put more information in the description about the case if you would like to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.